masayang buhay and uh, welcome to the uh, third week of um, grade 8 science uh, milk 3 na tayo so we will be talking about the seismic wave and how these seismic waves are used to know the earth's interior all right so the most essential learning competency for today is explain how earthquake waves provide information about the earth's interior so we will be using the earthquake waves for this week in order for us to know about the earth's um, interior so uh, we define seismic waves as as uh, waves uh, of energy that travel through Earth's layers and are a res uh, result of earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, magma movement, large landslides, and large man-made explosions that give out low-frequency acoustic energy. So seismic waves, uh, we have discussed on our previous discussion, guys, that um, uh, seismic waves are uh, waves that being released uh, during an earthquake. So we have learned as well that um, these are energy. And uh, if we try to recall the concept of magnitude, guys, diba? magnitude is the measurement of earthquakes energy. And this is the seismic wave. Now, in order for us to know uh, the seismic wave, uh, uh, and in order for us uh, to understand how we can uh, we can able to know the Earth's interior, so um, uh, we will be talking about the different kinds of waves uh, that are released during an earthquake. So always remember, mga bata, that during an earthquake, same thing as this uh, figure. Uh, uh, during an earthquake, lahat po ng, ng waves, okay, uh, in all directions. Okay? So, ang maganda po kasi sa, sa seismic wave, hindi siya sa isang direction lang. So, uh, multiple directions ang, ang pinupuntahan ng mga waves. Kaya, uh, nag, nagkakaro, na, nagka-travel siya through, uh, through earth. Nagka-travel siya through the surface of the earth. And nagka-travel siya sa body of the earth so um seismic waves are um, there are several kinds of waves when we when we talk about uh, seismic wave number one the body waves and number two seismic waves under the body waves we have uh p waves and the s waves okay uh, P wave stands for primary wave. Later on, we will discuss it um, uh, thoroughly. So S wave is secondary wave. And under the surface waves, mga bata, we have Rayleigh waves and love waves. Now, let us discuss uh, each uh, wave. So the first wave, mga bata, is the body wave. Body wave is a seismic wave that moves through the Earth's interior or the interior of the Earth. From the word itself, body, it travels in the body of the Earth. Alright? So, uh, ang body wave, mga bata, ay uh, ito yung ginagamit natin okay po, to, to know the Earth's interior. Alright? Because... Uh, body waves are traveling in the Earth's body. Alright? So, what is uh, the P wave naman? So, body waves has two kinds of wave. So, we have primary wave, primary waves and secondary waves. Now, uh, primary waves or P waves are compression waves. Alright? When we try to uh, recall... Yung compression waves, uh, if you try to recall that. So, meron tayo, when we talk about compression waves, we have um, uh, compressions and uh, rarefactions, right? So, remember that uh, when we talk about compressions, compression waves, we are 
uh, we are uh, using the example of the slinky, right? So merong uh, merong compression at merong rarefaction. Kagaya po nitong nasa nasa inyong uh, screen. So seismic body wave that shakes the ground back and forth in the same direction and the opposite direction as the direction the wave is moving. The reason why mga bata primary waves is called primary primary waves is because uh, primary waves are the first wave to be detected in seismograph. Kaya sa tinatawag na primary waves. So, uh, una siya na detect because uh, sa lahat ng nire-release na waves during earthquake, primary waves ang pinaka mabilis. Primary because nagta-travel siya because they are uh, compression waves, di ba? Uh, Uh, dikit, haba, dikit, haba. So, uh, compression, rarefaction, compression, rarefaction. So, another thing about primary waves, mga anak, is that primary waves, P waves, travel to solid and liquid components. Alright? P waves travel to solid and liquid components in the earth. Okay? So, tandaan natin yan. In order for us to know The Earth's interior, kailangan nating malaman yung nature ng primary wave. And primary, prima, primary wave travel through solid and liquid components. All right. So now, the secondary wave, the secondary wave from the word itself, secondary, it is uh, the second wave uh, to be recorded uh, by the seismographs. Okay. S waves. Or secondary waves, it also called shear waves, sometimes called elastic S wave, create a side-to-side -side motion. If um, uh, it is also transverse wave, if the P waves are compressional waves, these waves are uh, transverse waves, naman. Okay, so it create a side-to-side -side motion. So uh, unlike P waves, mga anak, unlike P waves. S waves cannot travel through solid component. So um, S waves sa, sa ano lang siya, sa solid lang. All right? Kaya sa para mas madali niyo maintindihan, ang S wave stands for solid then. Okay? Para mas madali niyo ma, uh, ma, matandaan that S wave only travel for uh, through uh, Uh, solid medium okay so secondary wave so as i have said body waves ha have two uh, kinds of waves we have uh, p wave and s wave p wave is a compressional wave okay that travels through solid and liquid while s wave or s waves travel only in solid And it is a transverse wave which creates a motion of a side-to-side -side, uh, movement. All right? So let us move on. Let us move on to the, the other hand, okay, the other branch of, of the wave. So the surface waves are typically generated when the source of the earthquake is close to Earth's surface. As their name suggests, um, surface waves travel just below the surface of the ground. Although they uh, move even slowly than S waves, they can be much larger in amplitude. They are all often most destructive type of seismic wave. From the word itself, mga anak, surface, meaning uh, these waves travel in uh, the surface of the earth. All right, uh, this, uh, these waves are traveling in the surface of the earth and majority of the destruction are caused by the surface wave. But since surface waves are moving on the surface, napifil natin yung paggalaw ng, ng lupa because of this surface wave. Because if we try to recall the concept of body waves, body waves traveling to the earth's body. All right. While uh, surface waves are traveling on the surface of the Earth, which 
uh, naandoon tayong lahat. Okay, nandoon yung mga establishments, nandoon yung mga uh, mga tao at uh, nandoon yung mga makakaramdam ng effect ng ng earthquake. So, uh, always remember that sur sur surface wave is uh, uh, the most common wave that causes the destruction on the surface of the earth. All right? So we have two types of surface wave. We have number one, lava waves. Is it is also known as Q wave or queer waves. Uh, these are surface seismic waves that cause horizontal shifting of the earth during an earthquake. So uh, horizontal mga anak, okay? Ang ang movement kagaya nitong nasa diagram. Augustus Edward the uh, Ulav predicted the existence of love waves mathematically in 1911. That's the reason why it is called love uh, wave. So, uh, umaalon din siya, okay po? Usually, um, up and down, okay? Up and down movement na, ng land, okay? So, love waves travel with lower velocity than P wave and S or S wave, but faster than Rayleigh waves. This travel in the lithosphere. As I have said, love waves travel on the surface, so it, it travels in the it, in the lithosphere. Uh, love wave. If we try to arrange the speed of the waves, of course, primary wave is the fastest, and then secondary wave, and then after that, the love waves, and the last. And the, uh, the slowest uh, wave would be the Rayleigh uh, wave, okay? Include both longitudinal and transverse waves, okay? or transverse motion, sorry, that decrease exponentially in amplitude as distance from the surface increases. All right. So uh, what is the meaning of that? Uh Rayleigh move the ground up and down primarily because meron silang longin, longitudinal at saka transverse motion sila. So, um, itong mga waves po na ito, Rayleigh waves, are moving the ground up and down and side to side in the same direction that the wave is moving. So, since Rayleigh motion or Rayleigh waves po is a moving and up and down and side to side, Rayleigh and at at the same time, Rayleigh waves are the slowest waves. Rayleigh waves cause the, the most destructions. Okay po? Rayleigh waves cause the most destructions on the surface of the earth. So, ayun talaga yung nagkocause ng napakaraming uh, destruction, sira, sa, sa ating, um, uh, sa ating uh, surface. So, uh, it is because Rayleigh wave is uh, very slow. At the same time, it is constantly moving the um, uh, it is constantly moving the uh, the ground up and down and side to side. All right, now guys, um, we say how do we know that uh, the Earth's interior is composed of uh, inner core, outer core, the components of them, ano ba sila, ano ba, ano ba sila, solid or liquid. And then, uh, meron tayong iba-ibang mga, mga layers. Okay. So, seismic waves po, uh, my dear children, uh, seismic waves are also called ultrasound waves of the earth. Okay. So, it gives us an indirect evidence of the earth's layer so seismic waves we are using seismic waves in order for us to know the earth's body or earth's interior okay so if you remember okay uh di ba ang, ang p waves nagka travel siya sa solid and liquid ang s wave nagka travel siya sa, sa, sa solid lang Okay. Scientists are using seismic wave uh, through uh, through this particular concept. 
nagkaroon sila ng observation about the movement of the seismic waves. So, na napansin nila na nagbabago-bago yung speed ng uh, ng mga seismic waves. Primarily, the body waves. Nagbabago-bago yung speed nila primarily because uh, scientists uh, were able to know that uh, this particular waves are traveling in different densities. So, naisip nila, bakit nag-iiba-iba ang speed okay, ng mga ng seismic waves or ng body waves when they travel in the Earth's interior? And then, they found out later that the Earth has layers. Kaya hindi uniform ang takbo or ang bilis ng seismic waves or ng body waves, specifically P wave and S wave. When the seismic waves are released, Body waves such as S wave and P wave travels from the point of earthquake to the body of the earth. So napansin nila that in the mantle, P waves and S waves travel. So what is the state of mantle, solid or liquid? It's solid. Primarily because... Both S and P waves travel okay po, uh, on the mantle. Now, next, what is the state of the outer core? They have observed, same thing as this, they have observed that when P waves travel on the outer core, so, nagbago yung, nagbago yung kanyang speed, kaya napansin nyo, nagkaroon ng refraction. Okay? Nagbago yung kanyang speed, pero the thing is, nag-travel pa rin siya at uh, doon sa, sa outer core. Now, uh, what, is what was observable on that time is that when the S-wave travel to the outer core, or nawala siya. Ibig sabi, uh, what does that mean? Remember that S wave is traveling only to solid. Therefore, kung hindi po siya nakapag, nakapag travel sa outer core, that means that outer core is a liquid component. Alright? So, outer core is a liquid component. And then, since nag-travel pa rin yung dalawa, okay, nakapag-travel pa rin, and then meron pang uh, nag-travel yung dalawang wave doon sa, nakarating sila doon sa inner core, then we say that inner core is solid. So mantle is solid, outer core is liquid, and the inner core is solid again. So we are using the seismic waves in order for us to know that uh, in the layers of the earth, mga bata, iba-iba pa rin yung kanyang uh, medium, okay? yung kanyang components. Naintindihan? So through, through, the S, uh, through the body waves, we were able to know that the earth, the earth's interior has layers and uh, they are um, in different state okay mantle is solid outer core is liquid and the inner core is um uh, solid again so that's how we use seismic waves to know the earth's interior and to understand the layers of the earth